Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're here for a very special video, one that feels very personal, really close to my heart, because I will be talking about those classic films that truly made an impact in my life, those movies that really, in some instances, ended up changing my life. And this topic also allows me to talk a little bit more about my background and the origin, so to speak, of my love for classic films. And it feels very fitting for this time of the year, especially especially because of some of the films that I will be discussing. So without further ado, let's start talking about the first film that really initiated my love for classic films, which was none other than Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, released in 1954 and directed by Stanley Donen. So this is something that I've mentioned before. What I may not have fully explained is the significance of this film in my life. This movie changed everything for me in terms of my interests growing up because the moment i received a vhs oh i remember these things yes a vhs of seven brides for seven brothers when i was around six or seven years old during christmas holidays i was absolutely raptured any interest i may have had up to that point changed forever if you just follow me to the ends of the earth I was so mesmerized by this film, especially because of its music initially when I was very little. Music was huge for me. It would be the first thing I would notice in films, TV shows. So the music of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers really, really made an impact growing up and I was transformed immediately into a musical fan. Also, the story of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers is relatively simple, even though controversial. I am aware of that, but growing up, the one thing I would notice would be the colorful shirts of the Pontivy brothers and also Millie's character played by Jane Powell. She appeared to me as a very strong woman and after all these years with me changing and evolving as a person, as a woman, I do recognize that there are some things about the film portrayed in the film that are obviously wrong, but still Millie has remained a very very dear character to me and a little bit of history about my background growing up i am from barcelona from spain and when i was little i was exposed to classic films they were quite frequently on tv and i grew up in a household that already loved classic movies so i was exposed to them really early and they were really part of my upbringing to be honest the thing that really turned seven brides for seven brothers into such a pivotal film in my life was the fact that this vhs the whole film was dubbed in spanish except for the songs that remained in english without subtitles so what this movie also did for me was awaken an interest for learning languages i was obsessed as I said, by the music, by the songs, but I couldn't understand what the songs were about. And I became, as I said, really, really obsessed. It became a crusade for me, a mission to learn English and to be able to also speak and understand English. So that is why this film, for some reason, it became a comfort film for me. And also it ignited, as I said, different interest for me, not only the love for musicals, and classic films, but also the interest in learning languages, particularly English. And this is something that really hasn't changed. Sorry for the change of light, but it's super dark outside. So bear with me, sorry for this. And let's continue with another film that really made an impression on me. Also another film that I watched during Christmas holidays because it was shown on TV and it is the MGM musical compilation called That Entertainment. This was a film that I watched roughly when I was, I think, 10 or 11 years old and it really blew my mind because it allowed me to see so many clips from different MGM musicals which I already loved because I already loved Seven Brides for Seven Brothers but there were other musicals and other artists that I learned about through this film that I didn't know of like Meet Me in St. Louis, like Lena Horne. They really became my favorite so that's entertainment that's another film that really made an impact on me, that really solidified my love for musicals. And it was thanks to this film also that I became obsessed too with Gene Kelly. 
at that age because in case you haven't watched that entertainment it is a film as i was saying that compiles that selects several moments throughout mgm's history dedicated to musicals and it features many mgm stars ranging from jim stewart frank sinatra elizabeth taylor and there are moments in which the film pays tribute to several musical important figures such as fred astaire judy garland or gene kelly i hadn't up to that point seen that many Gene Kelly films and the moment the film Singing in the Rain was shown and I heard Gene Kelly sing he became one of the main main crushes for me so truly that entertainment and then Singing in the Rain became two other musicals that really solidified for me the love for the genre but also for classic films because I became really really aware of the period of the history so this film also ignited for me the love for learning more about all hollywood about classic films and its history so from that moment on from those ages on i would be actively seeking out those films and also books on them anything any piece of information that i could lay my hands on so that i could continue enjoying more and learning about the people and about the films that I loved so much and it was through this process also that I discovered the film like Born Yesterday which was also shown on TV luckily enough I think when I was around 17 or 18 years old and so Born Yesterday really had a different kind of impact than the previous three that I've just mentioned for me Born Yesterday reinforced the way I thought learning and art and its impact in someone's life and it's important in someone's life has to be. I mean, initially, obviously, I was mesmerized by Judy Holliday's performance. I became in love with William Holden, but for some reason, the message in Born Yesterday really, really made an impression on me. And it's really because of the relationship and the exchange between the characters played again by Judy Holliday and William Holden, why reading is so important and how it can change someone's life, the weight and the importance of information that really made an impression on me there are several scenes in the film that have really stayed with me one in particular who do i think i am anyway <laughs> The idea of learning is to be bigger, not smaller. You think I'm getting bigger? Yes. Glad to hear it. And that is something that for some reason has stayed with me throughout my life. The idea that there are not a set of things that are good and you're supposed to learn and like about only those things but to be open and that everything can coexist and that's something that i took from the film and it really changed me and that was at a time when i was in high school about to go to college and that was really impactful for me then there were also two films that became quite randomly i have to say really important in my life and those films were both released in 1946 and they are notorious by alfred hitchcock and the best years of our lives by William Wyler and the reason they became so important for me was that I was able to buy also two VHS's of the films entirely in English with English subtitles so for a language learning nerd like I was this was heaven So I cannot tell you how many hours I spent watching and re-watching these films and also I ended up falling in love with both movies. That wouldn't be hard. They are very different from one another but one brought me to Alfred Hitchcock and in the case of the best years of our lives I became really invested in the stories the movie talks about and I was particularly connected to the story of the characters by Dana Andrews and Teresa Wright and their love story and their struggles and I learned more about Greg Toland about William Wyler so these films became truly important for me initially because they were a magnificent resource for me to learn English I cannot 
recommend enough if you're trying to learn a language that you already have a slight knowledge of to watch and listen in its original version and also be able to have subtitles in the same language it allows you to connect the words and the sounds to the written version so that is something that I was able to find and that really made a huge impact and the discovery of this films much like born yesterday was around as I said before when I was 17 or 18 years old and another film that really made an impact for me at that age was out of the past because there was an important paper that we had to submit and that would be graded and that grade would be important in order to access university and you had to choose a topic that you would be writing about for a year so the topic was really important I already knew that I wanted it to be about movies but I wasn't too sure at the time what to talk about that became a real struggle until I found a book at my grandmother's house and its cover really gave me the idea and even though I didn't know much about film noir at that age I knew immediately that it was going to be the topic for that paper so for over a year I researched about film noir and that is what solidified and ignited my love for film noir and also for that paper I decided to discuss two different films one of the classic film noir era and another more modern approach and the films I chose based on my research were out of the past and LA Confidential so I ended up learning a lot about both movies especially in the case of Out of the Past it became a film that further again consolidated my love for film noir it was so fascinating for me this was like nothing I had watched before and last but not least I also wanted to include in today's video another movie that I have discussed numerous times in numerous videos and it is none other than It's a Wonderful Life which was a film that as I have mentioned before I discovered later in my life I was used to watching It's a Wonderful Life during holidays but for some reason as I grew older and I believe I was more capable of understanding the journey the tremendous journey that George Bailey goes through that this film suddenly made a huge impact on me the film is so much about the experience of living and giving yourself worth no matter how life turns out even if it doesn't turn out at all like what you envisioned and so that's what it's a wonderful life sort of became for me a self-help movie in a way and it's remained again one of my favorite films so those were the classic films that really changed my life that really made a huge impact in my life and of course that's very subjective that is my own journey but i wanted to also be able to talk about how i became in love with classic films in the first place and that's what i did in this video and i would love to know about your journey too about films that changed your life also in case you have haven't seen the message in the community page of the channel I will be changing the name of the channel and also my social media handles this is something that I've been meaning to do for ages to kind of simplify the name and I really really hope this will be a positive change and I also wanted to take this opportunity to wish you happy holidays I know this time of the year is not the same for everyone but in any case whether you celebrate it or not I want to wish you all the best thank you so much for watching this video and for your support as always and once again stay safe take care and see you all with another video bye